Away Peck. Okay, um, not gonna lie, I thought this was a Doe Duo when I first saw the name, so... <gasps> I'm dead. Dude, oh, I... Oh... It had Pursuit. I completely forgot this thing knew Pursuit. Well... Sorry! Ooh, yikes! <laughs> what is up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red randomized chain monologue that's a lot to say to be honest but you know what it's all good because this series is amazing hope you guys are all having a great monday and uh i'm going to get this timer started there we go we're already going because i am super pumped because we're about to get the running shoes it's about to be amazing but first i'm going to go ahead and stock up on like some potions and see if we can buy super potions uh as well because no we cannot okay never mind then we can still only get potions that's fantastic but yeah hope you guys are all having a great monday uh, you know, we're starting the weekend, or, not the weekend, the week off strong. I'm recording this video on the weekend, though, the Saturday before, so that's pretty hype. It's, uh, you know, it's a chill Saturday. I'm happy about it, but give me the running shoes. We should just have some, like, epic music playing right now as we're, like, or no, not the epic music, like, you know, the people are just, like, oh, or something like that. I don't freaking know, because now we can freaking run, man. Let's go. But, yeah, I'm in a good mood today. Hope you guys are as well. It's episode three. Yes, Mom, I know how to wear the running shoes. Shut up. But in today's video, I'm going to be finding all these trainers and getting an encounter on this route, and then probably getting the static encounter in the Pokemon Center, which... If it's not a typing uh, that I can use, I'll just keep it in the PC and maybe later on I get a typing that I can use. Um, and then hopefully gonna make it to Mount Moon as well. Gosh dang, Gerald, I really wish you had a water type move already, man. I kind of need it. I kind of need it. I haven't looked at anyone's moves set so far. Oh, and by the way, um, I did grind up Ralts, which... Wait, was that? No, yeah, I grinded up Ralts, right? That was episode 2 I caught Ralts? Yeah, I grinded him up, so he's now caught up with uh, Gerald. And the rest of the team, which is pretty exciting. He knows Confusion too, which I did not realize. I thought Ralts was like Abra, how it only gets teleport and stuff. But no, man, Ralts, it's a different breed. It knows Confusion, like a level 6, I think, is when it learned it. So that was pretty epic. Pretty epic. But yeah, Ember me all you want, Rabdash. You're going down. Oh, crit 5 hit points. A whopping 5 hit points. Speaking of whopping, do you guys like uh, Burger King's Whoppers? Um, if you do have like a Burger King near you, or if you've ever had Burger King. To be honest, I... Don't really go to Burger King that much. I've had it, like, very, or, yeah, a very few times. Like, we rarely ever go to it. When I usually, when I do go, I usually just get, like, you know, a hamburger or cheeseburger that I like. Yes, Gerald is finally learning Water Gun. Thank goodness. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Growl. We already have, yeah, we don't need Growl and Curse. Um, uh, but yeah, like I was saying, do you guys like the Whoppers or the Whopper Junior or, like, the King Whopper? I don't know. They probably have, like, 50 million different Whoppers at this point is what it seems like. Because I see all those commercials about them. But I don't know if I've ever had it. I think I think I have had like the Whopper or something like that. But maybe I haven't. Maybe I just get like a normal cheeseburger like I said. I don't know. Oh, and also the Barrel, the Ralts, um, did learn... What was that move? Double Team. I couldn't even remember. I literally just saw it. But yeah, if, you, uh, if you're if you wondering why we have the Ralts, go check out the last episode. We got it in the Viridian Forest. It took me about like 20 minutes to finally find a you know, legal Pokemon that I could catch. It actually took forever. It was insane. I was getting so unlucky with all the encounters, but you know what? Ah, you're mean. Shut up. You're freaking mean, boy. You're mean to me and my team. Uh, but yeah, now we've got a pretty, you know, well-rounded team. 12, 13, 14. Ross is just kind of, you know, it's it's Ross. We, we need it to become a Curlia so that it can take hits better because right now Ralts is pretty fragile and it's only got Confusion. However, like I said, it does have double teams. So we could use that to our advantage, you know? Oh, but a Grimer. Perfect. Perfect. I don't really know what typing is like the the counter to my team. I mean, we're mainly Psychic types, so I guess Ghost? Yeah, Ghost probably to... Oh, really? It's about only... I swear, this thing has Arena Trap. I'm going to be... Okay, thank goodness, man. That would have been awful. But yeah, I guess Ghost would really hurt us, which, you know... Knock on that wood. There's not too many ghost types actually in like up in these games or up through Gen 3. Because think about it, you have what Ghastly, Gengar, Haunter, then uh, who Miss Drevis in Gen 2, 
And then, are there any other ghost types in Gen 2? And then Gen 3, you have what? Shuppet, Binet, Duskull, Dusk, uh, what's the other one? Dusclops, right? That's the next one? Or is it Dusk Noir? No, Dusclops is the second stage. Um, is that really it? Is there any other ghost? I gotta be forgetting, like, another one from the Hoenn games. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, ghost could really hurt us, and dark as well, but then again, actually, no, not really. Because we have, a uh, oh, wait, Peck. Okay, um, not gonna lie, I thought this was a Doe Duo when I first saw the name, so I'm getting the heck out of here. Gerald, get back out here. <laughs> the barrel is just so... <gasps> I'm dead. Dude, oh, I... Oh, it had Pursuit. I completely forgot this thing, New Pursuit. Well, Rolt, um, sorry. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> no, episode three, and I already have a death. Gosh, dang it. Oh, that stinks. I just... I, I think I made the right play of switching out, but like, mmm, like, oh, that's, that, that's so freaking annoying. Well, guys, it's our first death of the series, so yay. I just completely forgot I had Pursuit, but to be honest, even if I used a potion and got back to full, like, I was at, what, 23 HP was the max amount that I could have? Like, even then, would I, would Ross even be able to take a Pursuit? I know it's not stab, but still... Like, Ross just is pretty weak. Ugh. Oh, that hurts, man. We were close to getting a Curlia, too. Because when does Ross evolve? I think it's like 18 or something like that. Well, you know, guys. Sometimes you're going to lose your Pokemon in Nuzlocke. <sighs> Yay. All right. Well, this is a good time to, uh, I guess, go back and make the death box and everything. Oh, boy. I, I'm sure enjoying this. I don't even know what I was talking about earlier now. Gosh, damn. It. I, I, I said earlier, it was a good Saturday, you know, I've been having a good day, and now, now we just lose a freaking Pokemon. Alright, so, what did I call him in the Sapphire thing? It was, um, oh, that's right, we got the ballin', so the people that are still alive, they're still ballin', and then, and then box two is the fallen ones. <sighs> I'm sorry, Bit Barrel, I feel bad now, this man literally comments on, like, every video, and if he figures out... Which, if he, if he does watch, like, at least just part of the video, he'll know that, <laughs> that, that, uh, that I, I, I kinda, you know, killed him. Oh, well, okay, technically, Dodrio killed him, but I'm not even gonna lie, I thought that was, that said Doduo when it first came out. So, that's what I was thinking, okay, it's just a Doduo. Dodrio is a bit more powerful, as you saw, Peckers from the Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Unlock, which you should definitely go check out. It was pretty hype. Pretty awesome, smashum. But uh, let's see. I think we're both level 14 now, right? Yeah, so we can get Paul some action here. What does Gerald have? On the quick claw. Well, I should. I was just curious, you know. I was just curious. I should probably give that back to you though. It's yours, you know. Don't it's don't steal don't steal can, what's the saying? Don't steal candy from a baby. Or well, the saying is like it's like stealing candy from a baby, but like don't do that, guys. That's very mean, man. You can't be doing that. Stealing is bad, and especially from a baby when they can't even do anything about it. I will physically come out there, wherever you are, and I'm going to beat you up. I'm just kidding. I, I probably can't beat up anyone, to be honest. All right, we have an Omanyte. Dude, I'm so happy we have Brick Break on Paul. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. Like, now, I don't think, because I don't even know if Metacham gets uh, Brick Break by level up. Because I know he gets, like, Jump Kick and High Jump Kick, which are very risky moves. Because, of course, if you miss, you take a ton of damage. And then, I'm assuming he gets, like, some other fighting type move, but I'm not sure if it's Brick Break. So, I'm so happy and so lucky that we got, uh, the team for Brick Break from Brock. Oh, and another Rock type. Send it out, man. Macargo. Wait, this is actually kind of funny. He had, like, the two, you know, snail-looking Pokemon. Macargo and Almanite. Maybe this dude is just a snail master. Well, it's Almanite. It's really a fossil. It's not really a snail, but, you know what? I'm gonna call it Snail the Almanite. If we catch an Almanite in this series, which right now we can't because we don't have a rocker. No, we do. We do. Slow King. So technically we could, but um, you know, I'm gonna call it snail. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say it right now. Um, and I'm sorry to anyone, like, if we do catch it soon to where, you know, I'm still naming people who have commented. I'm sorry, but I said it right here. I gotta make it. I gotta make it snail the freaking uh, Almanite. <laughs> Anyways, dude, there is a ton of trainers on this route, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, also, I want to say, dude, I'm actually really hyped about, like, this week because uh, on Monday, so when this video goes up, 
I am basically just about going to be done with school for the whole semester, which is amazing to get like a nice long break. And that'll give me some more time to, you know, work on YouTube and stuff. But of course, it's also going to be the holiday. So, you know, I'll have to bulk a little bit because I am going to be traveling. Not too long, though. So that's a good thing. It's not, it's not going to be that long. So I won't have to bulk too much. But yeah, I'm just super pumped because once I'm, once I'm done, really, I only have to go on Monday for like two things. And then once I'm done with those two things, I just get a chillax. It's going to be so nice. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and I think that's just why I'm in such a great mood this week, and I'm like, yo, dude, we're almost there, I'm actually gonna keep Paul out, uh, because it's a magneton, and that's kind of spooky, look at this magneton, look at it, all looking in different directions, looking like a chameleon, to be honest, looking like a chameleon, you know, I saw something on Instagram, which, by the way, you should go follow me on Instagram, at Terraquake, have it on the layout, um, but I saw this thing on Instagram, and it was like a video, and it was a chameleon walking up like a long stick of like colored was it pencils i think um something like that and it just like was changing colors obviously um every time because that's what they can do and then one the, the caption was just like you know we we act like uh chameleons can change colors and we act like it's just a normal thing when really it's freaking awesome and you know i thought about it, i was like yeah that is sick how they can change colors so dang fast like bro we need to appreciate chameleons more guys appreciate chameleons if you see a chameleon which to be honest i don't even know if i have i've actually seen iguanas a lot um uh so well yeah i went on vacation once and we saw just around like the resort there's just iguanas everywhere but uh you know i haven't really seen the chameleon maybe i have i just can't remember but if you do see one appreciate it you're like you know what chameleon go you you are changing colors wherever you walk and that's pretty hype that is pretty hype Anyways, Gerald's about to kill this Grimer that's actually level 14. Wow, I thought I was, like, doing well. But to be honest, I guess I did go into that uh, battle against Brock underleveled. So maybe I should do a little bit of grinding. Not, well, technically, that's what I did. I did with Rawls. I got him caught up with the rest of the team. And then, nope, we had to run into a Pursuiting Dodrio. <laughs> oh, man. All right, whatever, whatever. 270 experience. That's level 15. I'll take it. We're pretty close to the grass. I think we've got, like, two more trainers because... You know, as you can tell, like I said, or like I just said, um, I'm not overleveled or anything, so I'm definitely going to fight all of these trainers around here. All of them, boys. So we might not even... No, we should be able to make it to Mount Moon. Um, in the next episode, I'll probably try and complete Mount Moon. Hopefully, I'm... I don't know. In Fire Red and... Because I know in Red and Blue and Yellow, you can't get... No, not repels. Repels before... That's a dark type. Oh, wait. No, we have Brick Break. Never mind. I... I get so scared when I run into like darker ghost types, but it's all good. Paul's out here saving the day. But yeah, I know in uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, you can't get repels before Mount Moon. I'm hoping you can in this game because it'd be very, very annoying if you can't. That's an explode. I'm just going to stay in. We're super effective. Paul, he's a freaking beast. He is a freaking beast. And I think I said it in like episode one. I still don't know what he's doing with his arms. He's got like both of them going this way and... Who knows what he's doing? He's like meditating or he's balancing. He's definitely working on his balance. He's got, I think he sort of has an uneven body, doesn't he? Like the bottom half is just uneven. I think that's how it is. Hold up. Let's check out this man's summary. Let's go into an in-depth review because that's what we do here on the Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Chain Monologue. Yeah, it looks like, you know, the bottom part, like one's bigger than the other or that might just be the angle that we're looking at it. I don't freaking know. But hey, good on you, Paul. You're learning how to balance. You're freaking awesome. All right, one more trainer, and then we're going to get our encounter. And again, like usual, I might have to do a quick cut, considering that I can only um, catch a psychic, fighting, or water type. So let's see. Oh, slacking. Oh, buddy. Ha. <laughs> Ooh, yawn you. You don't have a. You better not have pursuit. You better not, bro. I'm going to heal after this, and then we're going to put him to sleep. And then I guess I should probably switch out to Paul, to be honest. Actually, should we just go out now? Yeah, let's just go out now. No point in healing if we're not going to use Gerald, I guess. Gosh dang. I, I mean, I hey, I'd gladly take a slacking for myself, but I can't right now because I don't have any normal types. <laughs> All right, here we go. Brick break. Just don't wake up. For, I swear, this thing wakes up first turn. I'm I'm going to I'm gonna re, bro. I'm going to screech. I'm going to re. No, that's good. He stays asleep. Slacking, look at that man. Like, you think he wants to wake up? No. He looks so peaceful and everything. He looks so dang peaceful. Paul's going to level up. Dude, he... He must be in, like, the fast EXP group. I swear, Paul is just zooming. Can't leave Gerald behind, man. Anyways, uh, oh, hidden power. Oh, this could actually be useful. Let's 
get rid of bide. I mean, I'm not going to use bide, like, ever. So, yeah, I'll take it. And depending on what typing it is, it could be... Oh, if it's, like... Dude, if it's a dark or ghost, that'd be great. That's probably the best thing we could get, because that just counter ghost types for us. That would be amazing. All right, I'm switching back out to Gerald. I want him to get some EXP, and it's just a Letty in. I think we ran into a Ladybug earlier, too, so... Oh. <laughs> Stop, man. <laughs> Can I just get through this battle and watch this all hit myself? Don't you worry. Yep, there, there you go. Gerald. Now I gotta heal. Oh, and also I should probably sell like that X attack and stuff. I could use that money because I'm kinda I'm kinda low on money. That's another good thing about fighting all these trainers, man. Alright, it seems like the best thing I can do is tackle. We're just doing two hit points. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Let's see. How much will this do? It's not that much. Yeah, Water Gun's probably... Is Water Gun the weakest water type move? Probably, right? Because it's the one that usually, like, all the starters get right at the beginning and everything. I would assume so. Except, maybe there, maybe there's a new one that I don't know about that came out in, like, Generation 8 or something. Let me know in the comment section below, though. Because, actually, comments do help out the videos a lot. Like, helps with the YouTube algorithm, if you didn't know that. So, that's why I sort of reward you guys for commenting on these videos because they can promote these videos out and uh, get them into people's recommended. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to go back and heal and then get this encounter. So I will be right back uh, after I heal and after I run into a Pokemon that I can catch. Yay! So you're probably wondering why the heck am I in the Pokemon Center and not in a wild battle? And no, it's not because I lost any Pokemon. That's, you know, we're not doing that. Not losing two Pokemon one video. But it's because I am convinced that there are no water fighting or psychic types on Route 3. All I'm running into are Tyranitars, Mightyenas, Cleffas, Cascoons, and uh, Rhyhorns. And I ran into like an Electabuzz once. So those are all Pokemon that I can't freaking catch. So what I'm going to do is I just decided, you know, or basically I spent like, and trust me, I was there for a while. I spent basically almost the amount of time that I spent in the Viridian Forest looking for Ralts. So I decided what I'm going to do is just leave this encounter. It's still, you know, I can still go back and get one because I never ran into a Pokemon that I can legally, that, that I can legally uh, catch. And the rules state that, you know, your encounter isn't uh, counted until you find a Pokemon that you can catch. So we can always come back uh, to this route once my team is a bit more uh, diversified. But I just decided for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get this static encounter and Hope that it's something that I can use because I can't find anything. And then we'll go back and fight that one trainer right here. But let's see. Oh, wait, no, we can't. We can use this. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I keep on forgetting that Slow King is part of water. Let's go. Let's go. We got a Marsh stop. All right. Who should I nickname this after? Let's see. So we already got the barrel. We're going to go ahead and nickname it after. Okay, let's do the dynamic call. Thank you for commenting on episode one. I hope this fits. I think it will. Let's see. If not, then you're just going to be like dynamic uh, or something like that. So wait, hold up. Dynamic. I want to make sure I spell it right. Oh, oh it's going to fit perfectly. No way. Thanks for commenting on episode one, my dude. You are a legend. And we can use Marsh Stomp. That is amazing. All right, let's check out its ability, though. It better be something good. Let's see. Minus... You know what? It's not Truant. Uh, it doesn't really help, but it's not Truant. I'm going uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start switch training because I want this thing to, you know, get a, caught up with the rest of the team. Oh, that that's actually so nice. So yeah, now we can catch ground types, which now I could go ahead and catch a Rhyhorn, but I don't know. I might, I might save it. I'm not, I'm not too sure. We'll see. We'll see. I guess I mean I could go get a Rhyhorn, but first let me take on this trainer, and then is that really the only ground type that was in there? Because Tyrant Stars is Rock Dark. Uh, Houndoom was another Pokemon I was running into. Cubone? Wait, do we have a... No, you're level 14. I just gotta hope that nothing has Arena Trap. That's why I'm literally gonna start training this dude, like, right now before we, you know, fight even higher level Pokemon. But, yo, I am so excited about that. So now we have what? So on our team, we have Psychic. Then we have Water, Fighting, and Ground. Okay, so four typings that we have. And also, uh, Gerald and uh, Medicham both leveled up because... Some of the Pokemon that I was running into in there had Arena Traps, so I had to keep on fighting them off too. It's, it was so dang annoying. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is do another quick cut, and I guess I'm going to go ahead and try to find a Rhyhorn, so I'll be right back, my dudes. And there he is. There is the Rhyhorn that I was running into, and what I'm going to do is just immediately switch, and you know what, let's, let's go to Paul and see... Oh, wait, no, this thing's only level 3. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, okay, no, 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 no. Let's go to Slow King and use Tackle. I would like to stay in with Marsh Stomp, but I did uh, level him up a bit, as you guys just saw, because I was running into a couple of, like, Arcanines and Houndooms before this. So let's use... Oh, wait, that's right. I got rid of Tackle for Confusion, because Slow King also learned Confusion while I was looking for another Pokemon here on this route. Okay, uh, let's see. Horn We're eight levels above. Okay, yeah, we eat that. All right. Um, um, okay. Mud Slap should not kill. It's Mud Slap, right? Unless it crits. All right. Mud Slap is way stronger than I thought. Well, I know I could have gone for Tackle, but I was thinking that'd take a while. And I know Mud Slap is stab, but, like, Rhyhorn's pretty bulky. And it's Mud Slap. What is it, like, 20 base power? I mean, I guess since it's stab, let me go and start the timer again. I completely forgot about that. Um, I guess since it's stab, it did, it did a lot more. Okay, basically, I'm doing a Togetic challenge right now that you guys will see on uh, on Wednesday. So if you're watching at this point in the video, comment down below. I don't want to give it away to anyone who looks at the comment section, but comment down below T, just the letter T, and we'll see if anyone is watching at this point. And I guess you guys got a little sneak peek at the next uh, challenge run that's going up in two days. But yeah, I basically I have a Mud Slap on Togetic as of now, and it's doing like nothing to most Pokemon, so... Well, we could get another encounter, I guess. That, that's good, we got TMO3 Reflect. Oh boy. <laughs> Gosh dang it, dude. What's this, a Dodrio Normal Flying? Get the heck out of here. No, mm -mm. I hate you, I hate you. No, we gotta run. We gotta run, uh, Marsh Stomp. We, can, we gotta get out of there. Alright, there we go. But yeah, to be honest, I probably should go get repels, but I want to see if I can catch a Pokemon first in here. You know, as we're going through here, just run into our encounter. Gosh, these Pokemon are actually high level, like 9. Dang, this dude level 9. Okay, Kang is gone. We resist that, though. Oh, wait, no, that's normal. Did we resist that? I thought that was just, uh, steel. Oh, no, apparently it's normal. And a... I really shouldn't have you up front. Come on. Come on, Marsh Stomp. Let's run away. Let's run away. M Marsh Stomp. Oh, no. Please, I swear this hits five times. Oh, thank goodness. I gotta switch. I gotta switch. I literally have to switch now. <sighs> Gosh dang it. Oh, this is not fun. This is freaking not fun. Die, stupid Kangaskhan. I don't care that you have a baby in your pouch. Get it out of here. And let me go grab this Master Ball that's right up here. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, I'm not going to use Repels yet. Actually, I don't think I've even bought Repels yet. Because I want to see if I can run into my encounter. A Salakberry. Salakberry. That's kind of fun to say. Salak. It's a Salakberry. Okay, anyways. Uh, we got Bug Catcher. Author Joe. Volpix. Send it out. I am probably going to heal just in case. You know, might as well. Because I do, like I said, want to get Marsh Stomp caught up to the rest of the team. And when he's going up against fire types, you know, I got to take advantage. Take advantage of the situation. Um, to be honest, I might do a quick cut, though, just to get the encounter instead of running through here. Because I feel like that would waste a lot of time if we're running into Pokemon stuff. Wow, there are a lot of cuts in this video, though. I don't want there to be too many cuts, but there's a lot. What, there's already two now? Because we, yeah, the first uh, attempt of trying to get an encounter and then us getting the Rhyhorn, which kind of killed. Not going to lie. <laughs> and he burned us. Great. All right, he's dead, though. Um, but yeah, Marston got up a couple of levels from defeating, like, the Houndooms that were in there. So that was good. And now he's level 12. Nice. He won't evolve to, what, level 30-something is when he evolves? I don't know. I'm going to stay in because I'm a freaking savage. I guess the Cyndaquil is a starter v. starter matchup. Sorry that I have the advantage. The oh, he outspeeds. Okay, so okay, Cyndaquil. Uh, no, we don't need to get crits. We, we don't need to get crits. Oh, my gosh. Send the quill. You're kind of no, 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 no. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And watch that. I swear that they got a read trap too. Oh my gosh. I do not want to lose anyone else. We already lost Rods. No one else. Please. Let me get through the last like three minutes and 53 seconds of this video. Please. There we go. I'm going to, I'm going to go heal and then, uh, and then I, you know what? No, I'm going to, I'm going to just go through here and then off camera. If we don't run into a Pokemon now, Oh, but what if I run into it while I'm going back off camera? Oh, no. Or we just run into it right here. I mean, that'd be great. Oh, it's a Burrit. We can't catch it, though. Man, Burrit's pretty cool, though. Burrit, I really need to get back in here. Why is Marsh Stomp so slow? Oh, the fact... I gotta switch to... 
<laughs> Can we just get out of here alive? Mount Moon is literally out to kill me. Please. I just want to get something I can catch. I just want to like train up my Pokemon without dying. Come on. I'm so lucky for it went for defense curl. Because if, yeah, if he attacked, or she, I guess it's a female. If she attacked, I was dead. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, like I was saying, though, I'm probably just going to, you know, we only have about two and a half minutes left. So I'm just going to make it uh, or just go through Mount Moon and then. Hope that I don't run into the encounter off camera when I'm going back out to heal and get repels. So then next episode, if we don't run into our encounter at the in these last two and a half minutes, then why did I just walk back into the Pokemon Center? Uh, but yeah, if we don't, then I will do it next uh, next video. Considering that I don't uh, run into it off camera, which I really hope I don't. Watch me just have like a repel in my bag this whole day. Time. <laughs> oh man! All right, we're taking on this person who's always looking for her friends but can't find them because she's lost. The answer, Joey's got a Tyranitar. Level 14, yeah, I'm not risking anything, you know? You're super effective, Marsh Stomp. I know, I know, but I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. I can't trust you. The good news is, though, that's our first Pokemon now that's not weak to Ghost. So that's really nice. That's actually really freaking good. Brick Break should one-shot this thing. Easy posy, lemon squeezy. Squirt out the lemon and make some lemonade. Put some ice cubes in it. Sell it on the street. Paul, there you go. It's easy. Level 13, yeah, that's the good thing. All these, like, fully evolved mons in the randomizer and everything, like, early on, they just give out tons of EXP. All right, come on, give me an encounter. I would really like to have it now rather than, like, wait till I record the next video, which will probably be either tomorrow or, like, Monday, maybe. Probably tomorrow, to be honest, as long as I'm not too busy. Um, but, no, I guess I'm finding a scientist now, or, no, this is, like, the super nerds, the nerds. Oh, yo, don't think, shout out to the challenge run again. Comment T. It can be capital T. It can be lowercase T. You can do multiple T's if you want to. Just something to do with T, um, if you're watching at this point in the video, or the point that I mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, the challenge run coming out on Wednesday. Wow, dude, that... Jeez, water gun to nothing, man. Look at Togetic. Look how happy it is. I'm so glad they got an evolution, though, because even Togetic, like, it's good. It's an evolution, obviously, way better than Togepi, but still isn't the best Pokemon. So I'm glad that in Gen 4, we got Togekiss, who is actually really good. And I think Togekiss is used a lot in the competitive uh, community, I feel like. Just because it can have like air slash which can flinch and it can learn like aura sphere and a ton of great moves and this thing really decided to live on one hit point so that's the game we're playing today token tick you know i'm trying to make you look good in a challenge run oh and then i'm gonna get the five percent chance to miss tackle <laughs> man mount moon just it, it cracks me up you know it really does great i'm not even running into another pokemon now i only have 25 seconds left and we still got another pokemon to fight Nah, this is fine. This is great. You know what, though? We'll end off the video by getting the Master Ball below this, man. I did not mean to hit. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm dying out here. I'm dying. All right, we don't get affected by the Sandstorm. But, yeah, even if the timer goes up, which it will, um, I'm just going to grab this Master Ball over here. That's right. I'm calling it. I'm a Psychic type. You guys have seen it before. Um, and then I'll end off the video and hopefully get, uh, get the encounter in the next video but like i said if i do run into it off camera as i'm walking back out of mount moon which i hope i don't um then i'll probably just actually, i don't even know what i'll do i guess i'd catch it if i do end up catching it oh max survive that's nice um and then show it off in at the start of the next video i don't really know we'll see i'm about to find out if i do hopefully i don't because i do i would like to encounter it on camera with you guys and everything but for now though i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to drop a like subscribe and hit that Bo 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 to see more and until next time deuces